Alright folks, we're back here. As you can see, our uh, hummingbird looks a lot different. Uh, sorry guys, I got really carried away and I'm um, starting to shape it up. And did a lot more without videoing it than I intended to. Um, as you can tell, hopefully, it looks pretty doggone well. Uh, this beak is completely carved on there. It is super, super sensitive to being broke. So I don't really want to touch it. I was trying to uh, sand on it just a little bit. And I was just getting too worried that I was going to end up breaking it. So I didn't uh, finish sanding on it. We might try that later on in the finishing touches. But right now I just want to leave it alone because it's very thin. Uh, these wings that are on here are the original wings that we cut off. Here's the big block that was uh, originally on. And I just trimmed off that very thin top layer that we actually drew our template on. And uh, these are on temporarily. Uh, what we're eventually going to do is, is we're going to taper it down onto the actual body so it seems very seamless. But before we do that, I'm going to pop them back off because they just held on very lightly with glue right now. And we're going to detail all these wing, the feathers on. And we're going to try and uh, shape them a little bit more rounded because they're pretty square and they're pretty rough in the back. So any sanding we want to do, we're going to want to do while they're off because it, they'll break really easy if we try and sand it while it's on. Uh, but like I said, sorry guys, I, I didn't video more of how we get to this point because I just got really carried away. I, I do do that sometimes when I'm in my carvings. I just get in this mode and I just get carried away and I end up doing a lot more than I intended. Um, I hope you can tell, but here in the eyes, not only do we accentuate the eye, but we've actually taken the gouge and gave us just a little bit of uh, depth from either corner of the eye to try and accentuate it more, which will show up better in a paint job. And I rarely use the gouges on uh, small stuff like this because uh, they just, I just don't use them, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but we're going to come back with our next clip where we're going to detail these uh, wings and put them on and uh, we might start etching in some feathers if we can uh, also if you haven't noticed I did run some sandpaper over it because I just wanted to get an idea what it's going to look like uh, we, this is the one spot I don't know if you can pick it up it's a big hole in there in the back that's the one spot out of everything that I couldn't uh, couldn't touch up from earlier on where we deepened those wings at the very beginning but that's not that's not a big deal because honestly I thought about uh, putting some sort of um, apparatus there to, to hang it with that flower I made earlier um, this week or the last week I'd have to go back to see exactly when but that, um, that, that second lily I made the, the better one I was going to see if I could hang this in front of it like it's trying to get at the nectar inside of it make it look really cool for a picture. I don't know if I'll keep it there permanently or not, but I just thought that'd make a cool picture. Um, but I just wanted to show you where we're at right now, and I will uh, slow it down from here on out because we're, we're close to being finished as far as the carving process. So I want to show you all as much as I can. But the way we got to this point was just what I was showing earlier. It was literally, it was just meticulous, just shaving it down, uh, looking at your references, uh, making some guide marks with the pencil shaving it down more until it just got to the general look we wanted and uh, I think this wing positioning is good here let me see if I can't bring up this picture I'm going off of my reference photo All right. I don't know if you're all picking that up on the camera or not but this is my reference photo of what I'm trying to make it look like alright guys and actually, this wing here is in the wrong position. It needs to be tilted out more. So yeah, we got to fix that wing. Therefore, we've got to fix that wing as well to uh, make it mirror image of that for symmetry. Uh, so we still got a little bit more work to do. But what we're going to do is, on the next clip, we're going to detail this wing. That way it's ready to be put on permanently. And then we will decide whether we're going to actually put in um, carved feather details or if we're going to paint the feather details. Or one video I saw, 
um, a woman actually uh, used the wood burner and added the details in that way for the feathers and I thought that looked pretty cool I don't know if we're gonna go that route but it is a thought uh, but we'll be back the next clip and once again sorry I didn't show more of how we get to this level but like I said it's just following the steps we did earlier in this video of just shaving it down shaving it down till we get to the actual uh, shapes we want and the size we want alright we'll be back with the next clip guys